All right, welcome to what might be one of my last streams on my channel here. My name is Grady George. Um, yeah, I just have so much going on right now that it's hard for me to uh, continue to do videos for, for my channel. Um, I am pretty much done with Minnie Manson. I've got about five episodes of the dungeon in the can. Um, I just have to finish edit editing them and they will be released, but my thing is <clears throat> Minnie, Minnie just went fucking crazy on me for no fucking reason. And it's happened before, but you know, recently I've done a lot of stuff for many. Like I helped him set up his spring store and, um, you know, I've continued to make a lot of videos that promote him uh, absolutely free. I mean, <clears throat> he feels like the production people need to pay uh, the talent and uh, it, just, it just doesn't work that way. You know what I mean? I do production work. Uh, he's a talent that doesn't really know what he's doing production-wise. So we collab together. I mean, <clears throat> I don't charge him. He doesn't charge me. And, yeah, I, I, I do, you know, I mean, to me, it's, it's like another part of the art, you know. Like, he's an artist in one way, and then the people that do the production work they're an artist in another way. So I'm not saying I'm the best on earth or, or anything like that. But certainly I, I put, um, I mean, we've done like, I don't know, 44 dungeons. And I mean, I've probably put in close to 12 hours of work on each one. Some of them more because they're very hard to edit because of the way Minnie's nature is. I mean, the guy will start talking about one thing and then he he suddenly starts talking about something else and then something else and he'll come back and finish what he was talking about and I got to kind of like edit all this shit down and move it into the right categories so that it seems like he's not doing that because it would be impossible to follow, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I, you know, whatever, but I mean, basically what happened was, um, I messaged him on Instagram and I told him that Mr. Based and Elisa are doing a 24 hour stream. He should go check it out. Because, you know, Minnie hates Elisa, you know. Like, Minnie doesn't want to watch the normal Elisa streams, you know. But when she's like, you know, like the Scoro video or whatever, he's all about that kind of stuff. And I just figured, because I was watching the stream and it was going badly for Elisa, you know. I mean, um... I'm going to do a little commentary on that here in a minute because I do want to get into that. I've, I've done a lot of commentary. Most of my commentary that I've done has been on Elisa. I don't really do a lot of commentary on other people. It might seem like I watch Elisa a lot, but I don't. Um, I've always found most of her shows to be somewhat boring and then peppered in the mix of all that is some very interesting content. Now, I will say that for as much stuff as I talked about the Jimmy content, or I mean the, the Jimmy thing, um, I did like when Jimmy was on the show. That's when I was watching the most because to me, I, I, I got a vibe off Jimmy, you know, and she's driving around late at night with, with this guy in the car. And you, you could tell she was uncomfortable, you know. 
it was very like, uh, and she seemed very desperate. Like she had moved from LA to to Miami, and I don't think it was working out well for her financially. I think shit was falling apart. She really needed Jimmy there. But I I think my own personal opinion, it seemed that. You know, from some stuff that we've all heard Jimmy had done to her behind the scenes and she let it slide to other things. Um, you know, allegedly, you know, I mean, I don't know. That's what people say, people close to her. You know, in hindsight, it, I can see why things were like that. But I, I recall like a... One show where Jimmy, like, just started sweating prof profusely and, you know, in his manifesto, he would talk about sweating profusely when, he, like, going, you know, when he's doing his quote-unquote uh, dirty deeds or, or whatever he called them, you know. <clears throat> and I was, you know, in hindsight, I'm like, wow, I think this guy was about, you know, he he was in that mode or whatever. Like, he talks about when he was vis visiting the churches and degrading the homeless. You know, he would start sweating profusely or it was just some kind of reaction in, in his body. <clears throat> so, I just kind of like, you know, I, I, I think occasionally she has interesting content, like the, the squirrel thing, of course. I mean, that got her in TMZ and all this other shit, you know. Um, Scuro did everything that Jimmy said he was going to do for her, you know, like make her famous, you know. He didn't exactly make her famous, but she did get a lot of attention off of the off of that because it was a shocking video, you know. It's a girl or a female being you know abused uh, but then at the end she gets arrested and all this stuff and and you know for rightfully so I think I mean she kind of took advantage of a guy she was talking about this last night on the show how she used this 43 laws of power book which is like a prison philosophy book where you just kind of like fuck people over and shit you know kind of tells you like <laughs> when I first heard about it it was like a book that when you went to prison, like all the prisoners would read it because it would help them get through prison life, you know. It's like prison philosophy. But some, but then those people will like get out of prison and they'll take that into the real world. And, you know, it involves kind of like lying, you know, a lot of lying, fucking people over, mind games, uh, shit like that. Kind of like people are, you know, so stupid that they'll just believe whatever you tell them. Like you actually like them or something, you know. <clears throat> but anyway, getting off all of that. And getting back to Minnie Manson, you know, I basically had told him about this feed because... You know, I don't think Mr. Bast had any plans like this, but he doesn't censor the the TTS to the point that there's, there's a lot of TTS that are making accusations against him, you know, blah, blah, blah. I get a vibe he doesn't really care because they're paying uh, to say it, you know. He, he kind of has that kind of attitude, you know. So it's not like he's going to sit there and, like, you know, edit, you know, censor the TTS like, you know, she does. So I think for the first time in quite a while, you know, a lot of her fans have been able, were able to say stuff to her that they previously have been a unable to uh, get through on her show, you know. And I don't know if she thought about that. You know, it's not really something I thought about. And Mr. Bass seemed to not really think about that, you know. And... It was really weird. She was trying to get the donators' names from Mr. Bay. She, she was like, "Let me show you how you can find out who sent the the donation." And he was like, "No, no, you know." He, I mean, 
Mr. Bates is very aware that, you know, he's not going to, like, dock somebody that paid to uh, do a TTS on his stream. I mean, he, he's very professional like that. It was just very shocking. It, to me, the, the, the whole video was just nothing but uh, Elisa being exposed for being a phony and a fake. And we'll get more into that in a minute. But anyway... Many mansions like who's Mr. Base? You know who is this guy? And, I was, and I'm like, oh, I think you like him, you know, because <clears throat> there's actually a lot of things about him that many normally would like in a person. So he's watching, and he's like, yeah, he's kind of cool, you know, blah blah. And I just casually mentioned that, you know, I, I'm working on a, a video that. I'm doing for Mr. Based. And we'll get into that in a minute too, but. And many just like flip the fuck out. He starts screaming that, you know, I'm not going to do anything with him anymore. Um, that I'm dumping him and, you know, he's he's saying a lot of really fucked up shit. And I, I keep saying, no, I. You know, this has nothing to do with you, Manny. This doesn't change anything, you know, from what we're doing, you know. And this is the thing about Manny that's really fucked up. He, he gets completely jealous of anyone working with me at all, you know. And I do a lot of projects with a lot of people. I, I'm sort of a, of a production guy, really. I like to work with other people as the talent and try to produce some content, you know. Mini is just one of them, but I notice Mini is like always the first. Like if I'm doing a Grady TV, he'll come in in and leave a comment that's you know degrading to the person that I'm interviewing. And then I'll notice like right after he makes the comment, I get a down vote on the video. You know, it's obvious that he's going through my my channel downvoting any video that <clears throat> is not about him. You know. Which, I don't really give a fuck, but, like, why is he doing that? Like, I don't, I don't try to fuck with his channel. And he has a lot of projects going on, and I don't give a fuck. It's none of my business what the fuck he's doing on his channel or who he's working with, you know? You know, what do you guys think? Am I in the wrong here? So anyway, like, I'm busy. I'm, I'm doing stuff that I need to, I have deadlines I need to meet. And he's just, like, blowing my phone up, you know. And finally, I just, you know, I have to shut it off and just ignore him, you know. So I come back later. This, this person, he, he's went around all over the place doxing me, making up all these lies about how I, have you know, dumped him and, you know, I'm a horrible fucking person and all this shit and I mean I've got all the Instagram messages I've got all the the me the discord messages at all the places that you know he was typing I I repeatedly told the guy that you know that our situation is the same I'm still going to work with him and do stuff occasionally when I can uh, I'm just doing like one video for Mr. Bass. Like, it's not like I'm doing a show with Mr. Bass or, or something like that. You know, it's just, it's not really a big deal, you know. Just a little production stuff. Doesn't really involve me at all, you know. So I'm like, you know, I basically told him it wasn't any of his business. You know, don't worry about what I'm doing. I, you know, I don't go around like, you know, telling everybody you work with that they suck, you know. For instance, there's a guy he works with named uh, Joe G. And, you know, he comes over and, to my channel sometimes and he talks. I'll go, you know, I have went over and checked out his live and gave him a like here and there. He, promotes my stuff he's a cool guy like 
I couldn't imagine like going over and like attacking Joe G just just because he he's doing stuff with many. Like I don't care about. I'm like, okay, this guy's cool. He supports many, and he's supporting the project I'm doing with him and stuff like that. Many, on the other hand, is a fucking psycho. And I I really can't believe he did what he did to me after. Really, everything I've done for him, I mean, it, it goes a lot deeper than just the production. I mean, I sort of can counsel him, and, you know, he has prop days when he's just flipping out, and I'll take the time to talk to him and, like, try to calm him down. And, you know, after all that, he decides to go around spreading lies about me and just making up shit. Well, I'm fucking done with it. I liked doing the show with him. And I even liked many, but after this, I mean, how could I work with with somebody like this? Especially when I'm not getting anything out of it at at all. So yeah, like, I don't, like, I don't really want to stop doing the dungeons. I still got like five episodes. I'm sure I'll eventually get around to editing them and putting them out, but... I don't really want to talk to the person or do anything with them again or promote them in any way. I mean, I'm only going to put out the next five episodes because I I bothered to do as much on them as I've... I mean, I've already put hours and hours of, of work into them, you know. So I might as well go ahead and put them out, you know. That's what I mean. Like, Minnie shows up like once a week. He, You know, it takes like four hours to record five or six episodes that are like 15 minutes each. The rest of the time, it's just, you know, just many talking mad shit about any anything he could think of or going off topic or, you know, going into coughing fits and, you know, threatening to kill himself or, I'm sorry, threatening to, you know, off himself or whatever in Minecraft. So it's a lot of bullshit. I mean, I took it on because I like Minnie. I think Minnie is uh, a nice person. I mean, I think he's pretty in- interesting and funny. That's why I work with him. I mean, he is talented as far as, you know, all you got to do is turn on the mic and a camera and, you know, there's a, there's a show going on. But Just to work with him the way I'm trying to work with him, it's impossible. I don't. I can't see anybody ever is going to work with him. You know, on any level. On any level. I mean, he's trying to get an edit, uh, uh, a guy offering to edit his shit for free to pay him to do it. You know, and I know that I do put the dungeons on my channel. Uh, but I give him an ad, and he has told me he's gotten many orders off those dungeon ads. And he wasn't really getting much uh, before we were doing them. He had kind of dried up once we started doing the dungeons, and people were seeing, you know, regular ads of stuff he was selling. He was selling stuff here and there. Now, I don't know exactly how much he sold, but even if he sold one thing, he made 100% more money off the dungeons than I ever fucking did. You know, like, why the fuck would I pay him? Like, he doesn't even understand, like, he thinks, like, a producer is, like, a a uh, executive producer. Like, they just go around paying for everything. You know? Who's going to edit your fucking shit? Who's going to film it? Who's going to fucking make it into, like, you know, you're just sitting there ranting for, like, two hours. It's unwatchable. I mean, everyone knows it. But yeah, if you can pick out the good shit and get rid of all the bullshit, you're going to whittle down like an hour-long Minnie Manson thing into like 15 minutes of pure hilarity and make it very interesting. But, you know, on his own, he ain't shit, in my opinion. And I'm not talking... I'm not talking bad about him. I ain't shit either, you know what I mean? But... I'm just saying, like, why the fuck would I pay him, dude? To edit his fucking shit for him and give him a free fucking ad and all that crap. 
You know, he can go. I mean, he can't make the fucking dungeon. I guarantee you, he can. I mean, it would be a totally different thing, even if someone else tried to do it. You know, there's a chemistry between us that I don't think other people can capture because I've been working with him for so long. Not the first time I've had to cut him out of my life, but I think it's going to be the last time because I can't. I got so much bullshit going on, and <clears throat> you know. The only person I've really kept around is Minnie Manson. The the person that just, you know, goes out of their way to cause me bullshit all the time. I don't need it. And I'm not going to be doing much content anyway. I mean, my channel is going to be probably dead after this for quite a while. I don't really know. Like I said, I've, I've got a lot of stuff going on in my private life that I need to get to. So yeah, let's take a look at this Mr. Based video. What are you? Oh my god! Ah! Hi. How are you? He's gonna help us. Now, this is Elisa getting there very late at night. I forget how late it was, but it was probably around 9 o'clock at night or something. She said she just got into town. I don't know how she got there. I'm assuming she flew, but she has said in the past she is afraid to fly. And I remember she paid like a thousand dollars to Uber from like South Carolina to Jacksonville, Florida one time. Or maybe even more than that because she was so scared of flying. So in my opinion, she really wanted that fifteen hundred bucks. That's, you know, she's saying that she has a lot of respect for Mr. Based and oh she loves how he does streaming you know but right off the bat here <clears throat> she shows up it's nine o'clock at night she's got these sunglasses like covering half her face you know and it's because Mr. Based is real Mr. Based doesn't use like bright blasting lights and you know Filters. Uh, you're going to see here, Mr. Bass is wearing like a purple, like, pimp hat. And when she starts fucking with the filters, his, his hat turns hot pink. I mean, the filters are, are up so fucking high, that his fucking hat's hot pink from purple. Okay. Hey, how are you? Come on, uh, come on in. That's, uh, Alex is filming a movie. Hi, Alex. All right. Can you also... no, we... This is another thing. There's a guy there named Alex who's the, who's uh, doing a documentary on that World of T-shirts guy, Josh Block. And you know, I guess there, you know there's some sort of tie-in with Mr. Based and World of T-shirts right now. And um, he's just getting footage of Mr. Based. For this documentary, you know, it has nothing to do with, with Elisa. But Elisa, you know, she seems to think this guy's like an assistant, like one of the homeless assistants that she has. That Mr. Bass has, you know, went out on the street of New York City and uh, just grabbed someone to come in and, you know, go for, for him like she does the homeless people. And, uh, no, this guy's, like, actually, like, an award-winning documentarian. He's got over 100,000 subscribers, which, uh, that's, what happens later is, is pretty funny. We got it. We got it. We're strong. We're strong. Um, Alex, you want help? You take the little shit, I'll take the big one. Fuzzy. Fuzzy! So she's asking Alex for some help, you know, like he's supposed to come get her bags for him. He, he's just a guy there doing creative stuff, just like she is, you know what I mean? Like he's, but I mean, he comes down and I think he, he takes her bag in for her. How old's Fozzie? Eight. Frank Sinatra's nine. Oh, you, oh really? Yeah. Okay. We got everything. Do you have the key? Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. I got a mic for you. Oh, mic for me? Yeah, I'm going to I have a whole setup that I'm going to 
Tell her your background and everything so she, I'm she knows. I'm going to fix that right now. Oh, okay. okay. Let's see. How do I do this? Oh, okay. Damn it. I'm going to make this nice. Hold on. I think I did it. Yeah, I did it. I can't believe you've never done this before. It's so crazy. I have my microphone in case you want to Okay, sit. remember we said we were going to make oh, this yeah, fun? I want to do it, like, in a nice way. Oh, you, you want to be facing yeah, the yeah, camera? Yeah, I want to be facing it. Okay. Okay, take over. Okay, guys, great news. <laughs> lighting is terrible now. Oh, my God. It's the worst lighting of all time. Yeah, she's complaining about the lighting. In my opinion, uh, Mr. Bass has perfect lighting. I, I, I hope he got all of his shit relit after this person left because i mean mr bass just keeps it real he's not trying to like be somebody he's not you know you want me to make it brighter or low? yeah brighter yeah yeah okay guys how do you go so bright again this doesn't get taller yeah oh that's good that's pretty good okay yeah yeah it's pretty good and i noticed like she seems to almost have like bluish eyes or something i don't know i noticed on her stream she has yellow eyes that glow like salem's lot almost you know because it's from that filter you know she has it up so high and i mean yeah she does look a, a bit different than she normally does but not a huge deal i don't think but she's very concerned about it because she doesn't look how she normally looks and you know she doesn't want it to be revealed that you know she doesn't look like this filtered person in real life you know is that good light or bad light uh it, the brighter the better really we're all the way but it's just like it's weird in here it's like so interesting so much different than like how it looks wait does this, this doesn't get taller yeah it, it can do everything yeah can you make it a little taller yeah. Okay, so let's try it. Come on, fuck with me. Uh, Fozzie, what do you think of this place? <laughs> oh, you made it so bright and beautiful. I made it so bright and beautiful. Can you teach me while well, you're yeah, here? I want to learn now. certain things from you. I'm going to teach you. Well, right no, now. I'm too excited that you're here. To you can't watch this whole thing, okay? I mean, I'm just trying to do a quick update here. A little bit of commentary on this because I did find it fascinating. I watched the entire thing because I am a Mr. Based fan. I do watch Mr. Based and, uh, you know, I, I'm aware of Elisa from the past. And so I was like, okay, this is going to be a good stream because I'm thinking just like this. He has no filters, you know. They're completely different types of people. Now, when I say that, um, I feel that Mr. Bass is just naturally a good streamer. I mean, he really is, you know. You may have some kind of a, an opinion on his background, things like that. Personally, I feel like, you know, if you've done a crime and you paid your time, I, I don't, I feel like, you know, I'm not going to use that against you. Other people, though, and you know how the Internet is. They they come after people and this and that. Elisa has her share of people uh, coming after her as well. So you're going to you're going to see like when they do start doing the TTS, people are, are people are talking shit about both of them, you know, but. You know, Mr. Bass is saying shit like, well, yeah, it's hard for me to defend but I'm different now and you know I, I you know I mean if you guys don't know his background he basically ran an escort service in New York City you know to very prominent people and and the governor of New York City he got caught up in a raid w with one of his girls and it was very public you know I think this was in the late 90s early 2000s I remember it but there wasn't a lot going on in the news cycle, I don't think, at the at the at the time. And they were trying to get get him to give up his black book of you know wealthy clients and shit. And he he took the. He just decided to go to jail. You know, I mean, he's not a snitch. 
You know, he had clients that wanted stuff from him, you know. To me, I feel like that's pretty admir admirable, you know. There are so many snitches out there. Um, yeah, Mr. Bass got caught, and he did the time, you know. I give him kudos myself, but, you know, that's whatever you guys, else you guys can, whatever you guys think is fine, but, and even though Lisa, like, the Jimmy thing is, like, I think where she gets a, a bad rap is she won't say anything bad about Jimmy, you know, and I also don't think she's ever read any part of the manifesto, and she, like, blocks anyone that brings anything up, so I don't think she's, like, really aware of the horrifying shit that, that, that most of the rest of us saw or are aware of, because she's into the Scientology thing, where she blocks out uh, negative things, and I, I just, you know, she needs to just probably denounce that, but even during this interview, you know, or this, this collaboration they do, you know, like, people are constantly on the TTS calling up, you know, bringing that up about Elisa that, you know, saying she's a sympathizer of that type of person, and, uh, it's not just the Jimmy thing, there's another incident that happened with, uh, another streamer named Donna's Frank, uh, but she went out of her way to defend that guy that everyone says is her dad, you know, which look, I make no comment about that situation. I mean, that guy, he would be in jail if he was what he says he is. He seems to be a guy that tries to push free speech, you know, and, you know, I, I, I've heard, uh, Elisa had, gone through a similar thing where she was accused of this type of thing in the past it was not the first time that this had happened to her so I don't really know I mean I think she like I feel like she's really into free speech hardcore that's what I learned from people you know um that have kind of know her that you know there were, were a lot of people t contacting me at one time that know her, and they all seem to have a problem with her in some way, you know. So it's hard to tell if they're just disgruntled people or if it's real or whatever. But I do know that she has a history, and I, I did say to myself that because this is supposed to be a 24-hour stream, they were going to stream for 24 hours straight. And... uh That's what she was being paid for. She made it like three hours. You know, she cut out after three hours. And I was thinking to myself, I can't think of a, of a time Elisa streamed with, with someone where it didn't go sideways. You know, that's kind of her shtick to do something fucked up. But... I feel like when she first got there, um, she was trying to make herself out to be like this big deal. I, I feel like <clears throat> Mr. Based, I mean, she's a big deal to him, you know. But I think Mr. Based fails to realize he's like much bigger than Elisa Giordana already. And he's already had, he's only had his YouTube channel for like a couple of weeks. I mean, like a couple months, you know. He's blowing the doors off anything Elise has ever done. She'll cling to this, you know, supposed stern employment. But you'll see, like, even this Alex guy has worked for Stern before he reveals, you know what I mean? Cause she's bragging about how she worked for Stern. And he was like, I've done work for them before, <laughs> you know. So, I mean... She keeps coming after this uh, this poor Alex guy, you know. She basically tells him, you know, if you're not going to go get the O-ring light, what good are you, you know, just standing there. And he's like, I got more subs than you. You know, I've done, like, way more than you. And Mr. Bass is, like, trying to tell her, like, yeah, this guy's, like, actually worked on some, like, real movies and stuff, you know. And 
she's like, no, he's some loser from the Lower East Side. I, I've known these people, you know. But she seemed to be so jealous of this Alex guy. And I think where it's coming from is that Mr. Bass is just so naturally a better live streamer than her. I mean, he could just sit there and, and pick his fucking teeth and be more interesting than Elisa. Elisa is dependent on having, you know, quote unquote losers, buffoons around her. You know, I don't know if you notice she only seems to hang out with old ladies like like that Joni Baloney. You know. She's the type of girl that her best friend she'll pick, to, you know, will be an ugly person so that when they go out in public, she'll be next to this ugly person all the time and she'll always look like the, mo the most attractive person by default. You know, this is all into her, this all goes into her philosophy that she lives by, too. Uh, I'll bring that up to And I, to me, finding that out explained a lot. I mean, I feel like I've always known Elisa as a fake persona, but I don't think she no, any longer realizes her persona is fake. I don't, I don't think, uh, I mean, she's not Elisa Giordana. That's a made-up person. She's her real name, and uh, that person, I think, is probably a lot different. I think she had, you know, she says she has clinical depression, which is something I have, you know. Um, she probably is not very confident, and she puts on this, you know, comp, you know, Elisa Giordana is very confident, you know. Elisa Giordana is a big star that's been on Howard Stern, and she dated Benji, you know. Mr. Mr. Bast had like, <laughs> I mean, I don't even want to go into it, but I mean, she ain't shit compared to Mr. Bast. I mean, for real, you can say what you want about Mr. Bast, but I mean, if you look at his accomplishments, I mean, this guy has made a million dollars and lost a million dollars over and over again in his life. I mean, it's nothing to him to just be successful, you know, at doing anything he does, and. She's a person that I think has failed a lot. I mean, that song, Fuck You, I'm Fine, I actually like that song. You know, I don't think it's that bad of a song, but it's a failure. She got kicked out of Cobra Starship, you know. Uh, I don't really believe she worked much on Stern. I, she starts bragging during this, this uh, show that she knows high pitch Eric and maybe he'll come over and stream with them. And she calls him and he answers the phone and he just starts cussing her out and telling her never to call him back, you know. So I feel bad for her on a certain level, but it's because she's clinging to this fake thing, you know. I mean, it seems like she has surrounded herself with people that are telling her that yeah, she is a big star. She's the biggest web streamer, you know. 20,000 subs is a big deal, or however many she has. And it's really, it's really not that big of a deal, you know. Not for, not for as long as she's been going at it, you know. I mean, you can say what you want about me. Yeah, I almost got a thousand, but... I just started doing shit like maybe like a year and a half ago and I haven't really done much of anything for like the last half year. I mean, I was more active last year, so. She's been on YouTube like 14 straight years. She has exposure to most of the online Stern community. Uh, whatever else she's done, like, I think she was in one of the Sharknado sequels or something, you know. Hey, man, I ain't shitting on her. Whatever. I'm just saying, like, most of everything that she's done has been some kind of bomb or failure. I mean, or most people haven't seen it and they don't know her. I mean, she pretty much just got in TMZ because, you know, there's an attachment to Stern and 
there was a video of her getting her ass whooped and deserving it be, uh, because she got arrested for it, you know, so. I mean, what is there to be to be proud of and walk around and act like you're the fucking shit? Mis- Mr. Bass is treating her very nicely this whole time. He's really, to me, he's really kissing her ass because she's being very uh, condescending towards him, talking down to him, especially Alex, which is a guest there doing a documentary, and he's including Mr. Based in that documentary, so I'm sure it's important to him, you know. But to Elisa, you know, she's trying to fuck it up because uh, I don't know why. She just wants to talk to this guy like a piece of shit. And to me, it's disrespectful to Mr. Bass because that's somebody he's got there and it's like not her place to do that. But I think she was just like freaked out by the TTSs. She couldn't block them. Uh, the chat was talking mega shit. But not so bad that most people would block the stuff, you know. So like Mr. Bass wasn't really moved to try to block people, you know. He pretty much only blocks people if they're doxing or, you know, trying to say hate speech or, you know, anything that would possibly get him kicked off of YouTube, you know, let's face it, YouTube's got some fucked up policies, you know, and he's really trying to build a channel for himself, and I think he's doing a really good job, I mean, if, um, my, in, my interview with him, which you can see in clips right now, uh, it's going to air in full on his channel tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. You know, you can watch it over at Mr. Bass's channel at that time if you're interested in finding out more about Mr. Bass. But like I said, I, I have the whole interview up already in clips. Uh, but if you watch that interview, you'll see Mr. Bass, and this is just my opinion, you know, having interviewed him and, you know, listening to his life story, but... It seems like he went to college. He was really into the college lifestyle. He didn't want to graduate. He just kept going to college until he finally ended up getting a law degree. He had to, he had to do something. He didn't want to go. It didn't seem like he wanted to go work as a lawyer. You know, he wanted to still have fun with his life and stuff like that. He went into like, you know, he saw that there were people making money off 900 sex wines. And to him, that just sounded like easy money. Like, you know, and he kind of reverse engineered it and like figured out how to make money at it and he became one of the the biggest 900 sex phone operators and was raking in millions you know really doing nothing i mean i'm sure he had to run a business i'm sure there's stuff to it but he's basically just you know hiring girls uh no matter what they look like because it doesn't matter it's phone sex you know like 10 bucks an hour to go sit in a cubicle somewhere and talk dirty to fucking dudes for like 10 bucks a minute. You know, so their hourly wage is, is paid for the first minute and he's like taking the rest, you know. He just has cash funneling into him and everybody's happy. Everybody's getting what they want. Then, and, and when he, even before that, he was in college. He saw people making money out of the Rolling Stone classified mm-hmm. ad sections, you know, and Really, if you're older, I would say probably over 40 or something, uh, you'll remember classified ads in the back of Rolling Stone were a big thing, you know. There were were always fucked up ads, and he, like, self-published a book, and he titled it something. uh, You know, it escapes me right now, but he titled it something that was provocative, that made people think they were sending 15 bucks for something, but that was actually, actually the title of the book. And he, and he wrote this book, and he would send them a copy of the book, you know. And he would just go to his P.O. box, and there would be, like, you know, tons of envelopes with 15 bucks cash in them each, you know. At one point, he had worked out some way to where you would get a phone card in the compact disc 
you were buying that would give you like 20 minutes of uh, like long distance phone calls, which used to be a thing back in the day that kind of went away with the cell phones. And actually the CDs, the people were buying cost less than 20 bucks. So it was kind of like you could buy this CD, you're getting a $20 phone card. It's like you're getting the CD for free or you're getting the card for free either way, you know, just to try to increase sales. And these cards were, were not costing him anything, you know, hardly. So he has a knack of, of seeing like things, trends, you know, popping off. He kind of like studies them and he reverse engineers them and he figures out how to do it. And to me, he's doing it with the live streaming. I mean, he says he's going to be the biggest live streamer on YouTube. And I really uh, think he's going to be. Uh, he's a brilliant guy in that way. And he's already, I mean, tearing it up in my opinion. Uh, he does a really good show if you're not watching him. Just an interesting guy. And uh, honestly, one of the... Uh, nicer people that I've gotten the opportunity to know on online, you know. So anyway, I'm just kind of Going through this video here, let's see what else we can find here. Hmm. I can tell. Every chick knows I have the best cologne in oh, the world. Oh, what cologne is that? Uh, Creed Gold Bottle, Melissa. Now. Alisa has roast beef lips sent ten dollars. Alisa Yordana accepts plea deal after battery rest for hitting her boyfriend during a live stream. Mr. Bass, this is the type of lunatic roast beef clown that you have on your stream. Uh, Please bring back Josh. We will he is try. clearly the most exciting. Was that, it was maybe he being I, not nice to you? I don't care, I love that he has my name. Okay. So if, as long as they have my name. He does have the best name. I don't care he what he says as long as he's using my name. Um, it's like Mr. Based. He looks like some kind of crazed clown ever since she turned the filters on. Like. It's almost like she normally looks like a crazed clown. Mr. Bass looks like a normal person. She turns this filter on. She starts to look normal. And now Mr. Bass has got this like, I don't know. It, it, whatever the filter is that she uses for her to look however it is she wants to look is not good for Mr. Bass. It's not a, a filter for him, uh, in my opinion. Like but someone used to have Mr. Bass solar powered cock, action. and I thought that was pretty fun. Yeah, that is fun. Like, yeah. I, I, there was a but they disappeared. I like roast beef, Dildo. roast beef, roast beef flaps is everywhere. Yeah, yeah, they were like advertising you I, everywhere. I know, I do like that. It's amazing. There's something nice about that. Also, there's like Elisa Jordana's dildo in a lot of chats. I only uh, see the roast beef. Flaps oh, really? Everywhere. Okay. There's a couple cool people. Um, Tell me about uh, Leaf. What's, what's Leaf? Leaf is like? a really nice guy. He's a, that of being a streamer but was hilariously terrible at it uh, with her far apart eyes far chaotic apart. gameplay and infamous so roast weird. beef lips oh, she was a disaster beef. viewers tuned in to see her ugly blunders not her non-existent you know i could find out who that is just by looking at wait do you have another phone you do we don't we don't care i could find out who that is don't care. Time. let's I move care. forward i That's mean if I, if I wanted to i'm just saying if i had some See what she's doing? She's trying to like literally find out who this person is calling her roast beef lips. And I don't think she's kidding at all. And I think she normally does do that. I mean, yeah, I, I know some people that that's happened to actually, you know. And that's something that's very off-putting about her. She needs to stop doing that. It's hurting her IRL stream career. I know that she wants to be very authoritarian and you know do all that, but Mr. Bass seems to have the attitude that yeah, they're paying me to fucking say this shit. Go ahead and say it, then you know what I mean. He don't give a fuck. He's making like ten bucks. Time on my hands. 
Do, do Elisa and I look good working together? One, if you like us together. Two, if you can't fucking stand it. One, if you love Elisa and, and Jason. Two, if you hate it. You know, it takes like eight seconds. They didn't say anything. Two, one, one, one. Where we're from. I Big Alaska was right. Here. Sent ten dollars oh, an ex pimp. Hello. A pedal lover defender walk into a stream Five, and six, think one. they are anything more than self absorbed. Who's doing anything for money? You are the sum of the earth. At least you're Dana for Prishan. Wait, I, I, I'm like so Thank exhausted. Thank you for all these donations. From guys, the, I'm you. exhausted from the insults. I missed that one. See, like Mr. Bass has the right attitude. He's loving it, you know. And look at Elisa C. The, you know. <laughs> Did you? No, you know, you've done this for years. Just laugh it off. Man, I didn't even hear off. that one. Now I see why Josh takes it so seriously. Have you even take them seriously? No, I don't Josh take it seriously at all. I think they're all wrong. These people call me a murderer sometimes. They say the crazy. What? They shit haven't yet. Me. Not this stream, but I talk. <laughs> Not before. this stream. Yeah. It's happened. Before. <laughs> I'm calling like a six foot three, really handsome dude. Just, that's a oh, friend. a handsome dude. All right, that sounds yeah. good. He'll All come my here. friends are good looking. Really? Well, I think so. Are they nice? But he didn't answer. Um, so probably uh, watch. I wanted to like show off nice friends to you. Okay, yeah. I show mean, off. ones that'll be like faggy. Do you have any like, old, like fun, old lady cool. friends? Like he's more like my friend Ron Sperling or Andrew Dice Clay or something like that. He's got personality. Yeah. So next. Fighting over nothing, right? What'd you guys fight Over nothing. Like Roshi's burly sent ten dollars. Burly lady looks like a man, Jason. I totally I understand how feminine her why you thought are. she was a transvestite. I mean, I don't Long think they had that for a I bet she's bad. I don't really have nice hands. No, no, they're so small compared to mine. My... I want them to see you're feminine. Oh, yeah. No, it's you, okay. When you don't have a, a man next to you, you look... And I have to say, Mr. Bass defends her all the way through. If she has a problem with Mr. Bass over this stream, I would suggest that She's not a real streamer, and she shouldn't be doing this this type of stream, you know. I mean, if you're saying that you're doing IRL, you know, I mean, IRL is supposed to be, you know, on some level real, you know. Mr. Bass has real interactions with people, and he's not trying to, like, shit on you or anything. He just wants to have a good stream with you. And you're just being very, like, I don't know. I, I feel like she's going into a shell, you know. She's not as confident as she tries to, to put on, you know. She does care uh, what these people are saying about her. And it's very obvious. You know, and that, there's nothing wrong with that, but you you just can't go around acting like you don't give a fuck, attack other people, treat everyone around you like they're scum of the fucking earth, and then you can't even handle a little bit of roast beef lips. I mean, I'm I'm sorry, and to me, it's like I don't give a fuck. You can do whatever you want to do, but. I just, you know, if you're wondering why shit's going badly, it's 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 you. In my opinion, it's it's you. That is not good. Why is it not good? What do you mean? That's what he's saying. He doesn't want to work. He with wants you. to be friends with me, did but not already, on stream. Did you already hire him? I'm getting him an apartment tomorrow. You are? Yeah, you're paying for it. What? Just kidding. Two point three million. I feel like you can get over it if you, you really, so? if you try hard enough. I just didn't like like how you immediately went to like. Oh, I was giving you shit. Come on. No, but like you immediately thought that way. Every joke. I'm gonna is go like smoke some joke. pot in the kitchen. It's not like a real. It's joke. really not a half. Joke. No, but like that's. You like, don't even know how many subs I have. I could have no, like no subs. I know, but like even if like, but just to go to that is like so immature. Like, oh my god, no, it's, it's like, not. So stupid. What did I do? Like you're look like. It's just. I don't know. You're so stupid. Hey, it's not that he's stupid, he's just like immature. He's probably young. He's probably a young guy. I Are you immature? I'm 19 years old. Uh, I like to be you're immature 19, then, like If you're 19, then it's okay. I'm not 19. Okay. I like to think I'm immature for 57. You know I'm 57? That one. Someone else. Go to the police. Boring. She. Boring. She. Boring. She. Boring. 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 She. 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 And she was boring, you know. I think it was more interesting for me, just just because I know the lore of Elisa. 
Mr. Bass has kind of cultivated his own audience through mostly kick and TikTok and, you know, streaming with people like Action Man and uh, this jock, Josh Block, World of T-Shirts, who just gets an amazing uh, amounts of views. Um, but yeah, uh, Ten dollars now. Uh, oh, Jack and Brian. It's going good with the ten dollars. I want to see what happens with five. Maybe they'll, they'll I think it's fast and fun. Doing really good. I'm going to do five dollar TTS for a while. Uh, Jack and Coke. Can I pin? But I mean, yeah, Elisa's boring to them. You know, she's not uh, doing anything. She just keeps whining. Uh, she's very intimidated by Mr. Based. Uh, like, <clears throat> she knows he's the real deal. And I think she also knows Mr. Bass is excited to be streaming with her. And she knows that she's not on his level. And she can't even fake it to make it seem like she's on his level. He's just fucking going around smoking a cigar. Fucking like, you know, doing whatever. Way more interesting and engaging with the, the audience. Uh, taking all the TTS and stride, all this stuff. And, I mean, look at Elisa's face right there. She looks like she's been battered, you know. She's like at the end of that Scoro video. Can I pin that it's five bucks now? I'm taking a look. Everybody, if, if you thought it was too high, the $5 people, please say what you're feeling. Also, like... We want some action. I worked at a lot of places for free, right? So, like... Could someone give me a five dollars? Like it took me. Trust me, everybody wants Josh. I, I, I'd like to meet him. Anonymous sent five dollars. You should do a stream of Elisa and Josh on a date. I'm a great date. I love doing dates on my stream. In fact, last. Week... All right, so we got the circle of death going here. Um... No, but I want him just because he's capable, and this, he does interviews. He interviewed um, Josh in the past. Yeah, no, well, I know, I know. I interviewed, I interviewed Alex Jones. Jones. Give her oh, this yeah, tough, did. good interview. She's never interviewed had. Alan Dershowitz. That's very impressive. Oh, very thank good. You. Very good. No wonder you won't get the ring line. You're lit very nicely right now. I think you. I think at a certain point you're just over lighting. You'd be yourself. so disappointed if I found my light. It's like a seven dollar ring light. Really? It makes like all different colors if you hit the um, party light. If always when sent five dollars, she's bitter because she got kicked off a poll for being a pedo sympathizer. Rent free. Imagine getting kicked off a poll. Total pedo sympathizer. Honestly, I made about like a million times more money off IP2 than on IP2. So immediately, it was weird. Like, I got kicked off IP2, and then my my. See, so this is the other, other thing. She keeps bragging about how she made, like, $2 million, $2.3 million last year. She's the highest paid streamer, you know? I mean, I don't know if she did, but, I mean, it seemed like she maybe, like, got a, a bunch of money off of one fan. I mean, I don't know. But uh, to me, I have a hard time believing that she actually received this amount of money because look at what happens when Mr. Bass whips out her payment, the $1,500. Money soared so much. It's like, how could I be upset of being kicked off? Say what you were in last year. I love when you say it. It's I mean, so I mean, clippable. Say it. Just say it proudly. After I got kicked off IP2, I made millions of dollars. How much did you make last year? I don't want to go into it. I made 2.3 million. I already said, said it. So no, cool. I already said it. I, you never say it. I, I you don't say it. So I, say I, it I don't want to say it again. Give her GHB already sent $5. Ah, I'm, I'm more proud of the money you gave me Take today. Take her to the corner, Mr. Bates, you your money I'm back. She could get gang-banged so, by I'm a black man at the time of her life and make your money back. No, I'm the accountant right now. No, I'm more proud of the money that Jason gave me today. A lot of these people don't even believe you made that money you made. I don't care. You should care. You should be proud of it. Like, I'm proud of, of, of how many people in my chat moving so fast and all that shit. I'm proud of that. I love your chat. I mean, wait. I don't like that one donator, but I like everybody else. 
please consider doing the sleepover. I never did sleepover. Can we do it in my hotel room? Yes, we can do it in yours. If Alex comes. Oh, Alex. my God. Oh, I'm not going to try to kill me. Are you trying to kill me? Me and Rose. They're not going to let us walk into a hotel at, like, 1 a.m. With, with my camera. I hope they even let me in there at all. They're going to think we're shooting a porn. Oh, my God. It will be so good for your project. It is good. You could never do it. I'm gonna I mean, she keeps saying that she only came to to New York to stream with Mr. Based. Uh, she really loves his content. And I think she probably does like what he's doing because he's schooling her, you know? Like, she knows Mr. Bass is, is just naturally better at this and that he is going to be the number one live streamer most likely because you can just if you know the guy at all you you can just tell uh, he's quite capable she has learned this the hard way sitting in his house uh, streaming live with him and just being completely overshadowed uh, schooled and uh, you know she can't do anything nothing nothing she can do about it I'm gonna do it right now. I'll check my text. Yeah, I don't think you're going there. Nobody talk. That this brilliant woman made more money than every streamer combined last year from a book. She was smart. You're enough doing better than to... me right now. You're doing better than me. You said only because you're my guest. Someone's PayPal so show about. us your PayPal. My PayPal. Stop that. Yeah. No, no. Look, she used the forty hours of Bay. power. Don't we want to hear her how you. she used it on Squirrel? She's willing. She told me she'd love to tell you guys how she used every chapter of that book on Squirrel. Like, give examples. I can't even she talk so about brilliant. this, Mr. Breeze. That's why she was so fucking, like, stone-cold poker face throughout all those huge donations. That book coached her. Tell the story. It's a good book. I do like the help book. Her, help her talk it's, about it's this. Just, it's just a great book. And then you can go to other things. Keep teach. her focused on how she used that book. A lot of people think that book... This is the hardest $1,500 I've ever made. So Mr. Based, he, he says, a lot of people think that book's evil, you know. And yeah, they do. And this is what she bases her whole life philosophy on. Um, you know, I think it's very telling. It answers a lot for me. I think I said 43 laws of power earlier because I there's another thing that I get that confused with but I have read the book and uh, I read it in college I was just you know I read a lot of philosophy books that was just one of them it's not a philosophy I could ever employ because I would just feel bad you know and it's really stuff like even a simpleton can do to normal people because it takes advantage of human nature you know like not wanting to be rude to someone or you know, things like that. My idea. The 24 hour stream. My idea was for you to get a Discord server. I didn't know you had one. That was my brilliant idea for you. Now, I don't know. <laughs> no, listen. Anyone that like says something like, oh, listen, all right, so there's no romance between us. Big deal. Yeah. Let's still entertain the fuck out of people. Like, they, their TTSs will make the whole evening crazy. Yeah. I I've never. <clears throat> yeah, Mr. Bass. He's really trying to save the stream. He's wanting to go out. He'll take her out for ice cream. Like, whatever she wants to do, he, he's trying to get some action going on. She's just, like, in a cocoon, closed off, uh, really struggling to get through because she's not in fake land that she has built for herself, you know? Fake land doesn't exist in Mr. Based world. We're done it. I'll probably never do it again. Do what? A sleep stream? Yeah. Maybe we, tonight's we, not the right night for that. I don't think tonight's the right night. 
We can do it another night. Camera on two idiots in a bed getting bombarded with crazy loud shit. We're two good idiots. We're a fucking. Aren't we? Yeah, my shit's always fucking up. You you don't agree? That's the way he was acting. Anonymous sent ten dollars. Eventually, I recognized that my dreams hadn't come true after all. They replaced me with someone I'd never seen before, a younger, more attractive version of myself oh, with courting. perfectly straight hair and a smaller nose. Uh, they're quoting my Marie Claire article. You guys... Show them things that are wonderful and uplifting. Crazy that you said that and are on this live stream. So uplifting. I can't always be uplifting. Alex Diddy sent $20. Hey, Mr. Based. Right. And Elisa... Yourself more bullshit? Yeah. It's good practice, isn't it? Like it's in good the trenches. Practice, yeah. But how good a lawyer would you be if you went to law school after this? I don't know. You'd be t- Anonymous sent ten dollars. Doxing is illegal in the U. That's because, by nature, it requires the doctor to stalk, intimidate, or harass the target. All of which are actions done with malicious intent. Malicious intent was the last couple of words, but like a lot of action though. It's flying. Mm-hmm. Fuck these twelve thousand people. Who cares what they want? Let's do what it you want. It is cool that there's a lot of people, but there's like twelve thousand people watching. Mr. Based with his hot pink hat from the filter and completely washed out face is, you know, tap dancing like a motherfucker. Uh, trying to get anything to go on, and you know, Elise is just sitting there like the worst talent on earth. And at this point, I don't even think he's trying to impress Elisa or be nice to Elisa. I feel like in his mind, he's thinking, I just paid this bitch 1500 bucks and she's just fucking sitting here. I thought she was like queen of the IRL, she's the highest paid streamer, you know, like I want to get in on this action. And, I mean, he the, he just got conned. I mean, he he realizes, too. Like, I, I think. I mean, I don't know. He, this is just my interpretation of what I'm seeing here going on. I feel like he knows. Yeah, this bitch is not who she says she is. And I just got took for 1500 you know. I got to make this work any way I can. Let's okay, do what so, you want. Fuck them. Fuck all of you. All right, so what the I only think, thing that matters is what Elisa wants. So what I think would be fun. Okay. Um, everyone hit the like, subscribe, do all that stuff, please. I forgot to ask you guys today. My moderators, you're doing the best job. Thank you so much. But, but you know, freedom of speech. If you got time, someone out. Try to do five, ten minutes. That's a bitch slap to people. You don't realize it. Okay. So, I more music. what I think would be fun... Do you think if I let you do the microphone, we would have had music all night? I don't know. It's a different... Do you think it was more fun for you with the mic all well, night or doing what we did? It's not that. It's just, I think it's not me. I don't care. I'm going to go. You could say whatever you want. You could say, oh, she looks like a tranny. Right. What are you she doing? Tell, what are no, you tell doing? Me, tell me, tell me. Why'd you end it? Ha! Thanks for being here tonight, everyone. So what we saw there happen was Mr. Bass, she just keeps complaining and complaining and whining instead of doing a fucking live stream. So he's just like, okay, we'll do it your way. We'll turn the the fucking camera off, I guess. Because he's trying to probably make her feel comfortable you know like she does have some kind of control so I give kudos to Mr. Based on that but the fact of the matter is they've never been back since you know I'm not sure if anyone knows what's going on but yeah I I, I had heard she was going to be there multiple days so I, I was hoping Mr. Based would uh, stream with her again, but yesterday neither one of them streamed either. So to me, it looks like Elisa has just, you know, 
is not wanting to stream with him, but I would urge her, if she's still there, if anyone watching, talking to Elisa, I mean, <clears throat> tell her that, that the stream was actually pretty good. I, I It was one of the better live streams I've seen in a while. Um, I've seen her have to deal, deal with worse in the past, you know, and she was able to handle it. I, I just feel like, you know... You're there. Do some fucking streaming. Do some like do some of your art. Um, stop giving a fuck. You know. Maybe read that. Read that. Actually read that manifesto. What the the rest of us have read, and maybe you won't be so quick to go. Oh, well, he's such a nice guy and, and all this fucking bullshit. Cause nobody wants to hear that and it's making you look bad. And I feel like it's probably because... You know, it, it, it's probably because... You just haven't read it. I don't know. That, that's what I've heard. But you need to like... It's probably never going to go away. I mean, on your channel it has, of course, because you're not you're, you're not dealing with that. And, you know, you can do what you want to do, but I just feel like that's holding you back. I mean, it could have all probably, I mean, I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. I have no idea, you know. Um, it just seems like that's probably the reason why people seem to have a problem with you, you know, and I don't think expecting people you stream with to adhere to like some bullshit fantasy world when, you know, they're trying to make money off donos, you know. I mean, I don't know. What, what do you guys think? I know there's a lot of people that Sometimes watch me to watch her. So, you know, what do you think of that that stream that went on? I I would urge you guys to go watch it. It's up right now. It's in his uh, Mr. Bass's live section. Uh, go watch it. I to me it was a very good uh, stream. I was absolutely. I, I thought it was masterful. You know, on Mr. Bass's part. I think that there's probably a good stream in there for Elisa if she takes it seriously. And if she is there and they're not in contact, I really don't know. I mean, it, to me, it's like they haven't streamed in, since that night. I mean, if you're there and you're able to stream, go stream. Try it out again, you know. Maybe it will go better, but... This, he has an audience that don't know you. So, this is a good opportunity to build your audience, you know. So, go check it out. <clears throat> and that, that video, it's very good. And, uh, again, I'm just going to let you know that this is probably my last upload for quite a while. I'm not shutting down the channel, I'm, I'm just not doing anything for a long time, probably. Probably not. I won't be back until the fall. So thank you guys for uh, being with me and uh, supporting me over the last year and a half. Um, I'm sure I will be back. I will, I will upload those final dungeons at some point. Mm. Um, I'm not sure when. I mean, they could be... I could just get bored next week and just do one and throw it out. I don't know. I have no, I have no timeline. I just know after what happened with Minnie, I just don't want to fucking uh, deal, deal with this shit anymore. And pretty much all I was doing anymore was the Minnie stuff, you know. So I don't have that to do anymore. So I have really no reason to come here 
but also uh, keep checking out Mr. Bass. Like I said, my interview is airing over on his channel tonight at 8. And there's another stream that I edited for him where he is streaming with one Sonic. That is just absolutely crazy. Uh, it actually already played out live earlier, but w uh, we had to take it down. But it will be back up uh, shortly. Uh, but it's a very crazy ass stream uh, you know he's doing great things over there so until next time i'll be seeing you bye bye